again, it's Kirk Johnson, president of the BMW Motor Ride Club of Northern Illinois. And in this review I'm doing now, this is the second part of a review on the Storm 3D XM tire by Avon. So in the first part of the review, I just kind of did an overview, talked about some of the features of this tire, uh, this, this new tire, uh, some of the compounds, stuff like that, the reason these little sipes are in here with the little teeth, all that stuff uh, to help warm up the tire a little bit. Anyways, I've put now about, uh, I put approximately 4,500 miles on this tire since I put it on, and I have put it through absolute hell, trying to, uh, you know, really just wear it down, trying to just, well, it's just kind of how I normally drive. I put anything through hell. My wife says I'm awfully rough on stuff. That's what she, that's her normal thing to say. Anyway, so I, I rode this tire all the way out to the edge practically. It's uh, right here on the flat. Uh, this tire, uh, with this tire on the bike, I have achieved an all new lean angle on this motorcycle, the K1200. I have managed, and I wear this with great pride, I've managed to now scrape up the body panels. Hopefully you'll be able to see it in the video, I'm sure you can. Right here. Oh yeah, right there. I just got down so low that I was able to scrape up the body panels. And uh, with the Storm 2 Ultra on the back, uh, there are absolutely zero chicken strips left on that tire. Anyway, I wear that with pride. There's another little scrape right there from going down nice and low. Uh, yeah, that was great. That was a good ride. Anyway, so how is the tire working? Well, it works very well. It does what it's supposed to do. It is, uh, you can start to see here, I, I would think you can see this in the video, starting to get that little bit of a crowning going on right here. Because I, I push the tire, like I said, I push it really hard in the corners. I, I drive these corners. It's actually a little bit roughed out on the surface uh, from from pushing. This is a very, very heavy bike. So it really tends to, uh, you know, grind into the corners. Uh, I don't generally brake in the corners or anything like that. I try to do all my braking beforehand. Now what I did prior to mounting this tire is I made myself a template. I cut out a template. This it goes right around the tire here like this and I can see how is my tire wearing I, I put a little indicator on here to line up against the outside rim right here along this edge uh, this one works for both the AV55 and this uh, this one here being what is this thing it's the AV65 or something like that yeah AV65 so anyway what I can do now is you can can line it up on the edge here and I'm going to try to just show this maybe I can show it up here a little bit better you can kind of see where the wear is going on it's really smooth over here right there you know we tend to take longer left hand corners here in the US I don't know if this is going to work or not yeah, you can kind of see a little bit. So as I as I rotate the tire, you can see some areas here that that get more wear than others, and it's generally these step off areas right here, where it's it's coming off of this this rather heavy. Oh, darn it! Sometimes I can't stand being a cameraman and talking at the same time. Okay, so coming off of here, you can see there's a little bit of a line right here along this edge it's kind of an uneven line and it's it's got some step areas in it like right here there's a little step now this is keep keep in mind this tire is not worn out it's only got 4500 miles on it but i think what's going on here is when i'm when i'm turning and i'm keeping the bike up you know relatively straight so i'm leaning over the bike is relatively straight it's kind of skipping this area and landing hard right here on this uh, th this line and it's kind of rubs it off so it's definitely digging down on that um, that's my dog 
anyway so you got the same little divot area right there you can kind of see it in the tire right there just because it's rubbing down right there and right here and this part that's where one of the uh, wear indicators is I'm not down to those wear indicators yet I've only don't have enough miles on the tire to, to say that the tires you know gone yet or anything it still works very well so anyways I've put this thing through rain uh, I've put it through mud I've put it through uh, of course dry I did an iron butt on this tire on the super slab highway I think I did that like as soon as I changed it and probably the most extreme thing I did was I dented the hell out of my rim with this tire on uh, I was riding on a little back road in Kentucky that had just been paved and it was like they ran out of pavement so they uh, they just stopped the pavement right there and then they started it up again about five feet later leaving a really sharp edge now I I wailed into that thing so hard that it, it bent the rim so I'll I'm sure you'll be able to see where it is oh there it is right there see that nice dent in the rim yeah yeah it got it good so that's that's why I have the fender off right now I'm taking the tire off I'm gonna repair this uh, this dent in here and change out my brakes also doing a video on how to change out the uh, fork seals because they're leaking so yeah it, it it kissed it really hard but it didn't damage the tire one bit the tire held up it didn't blow out you can see there's oh, sorry about that there's a uh, a little bit of rubber right there that's kind of squished onto the rim itself this little black area right there by my thumb there you go and it's from the the tire being shoved backwards and then smooshing very hard and putting a lot of uh, you know heat pressure right against there kind of melted the rubber onto there a little bit but there's no there's no damage at all on the tire itself. I'm sure the cords are fine. I'm not experiencing anything other than a little bit of a uh, of a vibration when I'm driving. Uh, when I get up over 70 miles an hour, I start I can start to feel this going on. It's kind of you know thumping the front wheel a little bit, but anyway. So it really survived the the damage very well. And all in all, I guess I'm I'm pretty impressed with the tire. I have to say, in comparing it to uh, the other tires that I've had on here. Uh, I've had the I've had the Metzler 880 on here, and had the Storm 2 tire on here. That's the one I removed. Uh, I don't know where this one's going to fall in line when it comes to the ultimate longevity of this tire. Uh, I got a feeling right now, based on maybe it's just the way I'm driving it. I don't know, but I, I think that this one is it's going to fall short on the mileage compared to the Storm 2. To be honest, I just don't see it pulling the same amount of mileage out of it and because of these these areas right through here where I can really feel this part divot down right there uh, there's an area in the back sitting on the top of the tire you can really get a good angle on it right here there we go you can really see that area right there there's a good good way to show that and I know it's not from breaking in the corners anything like that like I said I really don't do that unless it's a real you know disaster about to happen anyway I don't think this tire is going to last quite as long uh, I, th I think I could get about oh good between nine and 10,000 miles on the Storm 2. Like I said, this one's only got 4,500 miles on it. And I got a feeling it's more than half gone as it is. We'll see what it comes out at at the end. Maybe I'll put it into the notes. Uh, if you're looking at this and you see in the item description uh, on this video, maybe you can see how many miles I actually did wind up putting on this tire. But as of, uh, as of now, I guess I'm... I, I kind of... To be honest, I'm just eh about it kind of like meh it's a good tire it works in the rain it works just as good as that storm too 
Does it work better? I can't honestly say it works better. That Storm 2 is a great, great tire. I have real high hopes for this tire. But with these lines going in this direction, at least on the front tire, I can't really say that this is the ultimate tire for this bike. So I hope you got something out of this review. If you're if you're tossed back and forth right now, and you can still get, get a hold of the Storm 2 tire, I think probably go with that Storm 2 tire right now. Only because this one has a premium price on it. It's brand new. It's uh, You can find them online for... I want to say that I... I probably paid about twenty to thirty dollars more for this particular tire than I than I would have for a Storm Two. And if you think about it, with that with that price being twenty thirty bucks higher, and you're supposed to get ten to fifteen twenty percent something like that. I can't remember right now offhand. Maybe it's fifteen to twenty percent. Let's just say you get fifteen percent better mileage out of it, miles uh, per tire makes me wonder is it really worth it because it's yeah I think if you do the math that storm 2 probably is still sitting right there and you get just as good a performance out of it so it's kind of a wash I don't know anyway that's my review of this tire I do like it I'm gonna certainly wear it and continue to wear it out and uh, hopefully it'll even work better when I get my uh, my rim fixed here so hope you enjoyed this video hope you enjoyed this little chat and here's a uh, Here's, here's my friend. She's she's coming in. She's like, okay, now it's time to play with me. So just as a quick epilogue to this video on the Avon AV65 Storm 3D XM front tire. I mentioned just a little bit earlier how I bent the rim. I was driving and uh, went through a big hole and and pushed it so hard that it, it bent the rim. I got the rim repaired and I am absolutely thrilled. They did a beautiful job. I mean you can see there is definitely some scars left over. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. You can see... Oh, no. Oh, a cameraman would be really nice to have. Anyways, you can really definitely see that there. there's definitely some scarring on my rim. I do not care about that a bit. I am just way more happy that the rim is totally straight the way it's supposed to be. It's absolutely rounded here. They have a special machine, uh, I think it's called a true... I don't know, it's true something or another. Anyways, it's a special machine that's only in a few, just a handful of places across the nation where they're able to push these rims out without heating them up, without getting them you know blazing hot usually what they'll wind up doing is they, they they'll take a, f a flamethrower basically on the back side of this or a torch cutting torch really heat this up it winds up completely discoloring and and marring up the finish and then, then they you know you can bang it out and stuff like that I would rather just you know pay the money to have somebody p press it out the correct way and uh, use almost no heat at all it didn't there's no heat damage on here just some some scarring from uh, whatever the jig is or the tool that they use to press against it. I'll have this thing refinished in the winter time when I'm not riding the bike but for now it is summertime and it is definitely time to ride. So this baby's going back on the on there for the rest of its life. Hopefully I won't get any uh, flats or anything with it. Uh, if I do, oh well. So hope to see you out there. Hope you uh, check out our club at IllinoisBMWRiders.com and uh, yeah, I hope to meet you guys someday. Take care.